corner. And today I have 11 homestead items that you should stockpile for winter. Okay, the first thing that you should definitely make sure that you have stockpiled for winter is water and food. Those are the number one things that you're going to want to have. You're going to want to have at least three weeks of that. If there was a non-perishable item food, if there was a power outage, which I have seen, we're in Maine, and we have seen power outages go for weeks. So it's important to have non-perishable foods on hand, and you know, if whatever happens, you're prepared for it. You're going to need food, so having those non-perishable food items on hand is going to be key to getting through uh, extended power outage or whatever may happen. So number one is water and food. Number two is you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of firewood, oil, fuel, whatever it is that you use um, to heat your home. And you also want to have a backup. You want to make sure you have, if you use a gas generator to keep your house heated when the power goes out, you want to make sure you have enough gas to keep that generator going. Um, ice storms sometimes happen around here. That's another big one where it'll knock the power out. The roads aren't safe to drive on. You may be home for quite some time. You may not be able to get out. So um, having that fuel on hand or whatever, if you use wood stoves, most people that have wood stoves have plenty of wood to get them through the winter, which is key. And, but having oil and um, other fuel, however you're going to heat your home in an emergency, it's important to have at least three weeks of emergency stuff on hand on top of your regular stuff. So, and number three is lighting. You're going to want to have um, whatever you're going to use for lighting candles, flashlights, plenty of batteries for flashlights, lanterns, oil for lanterns if that's what it uses, or gas or whatever it is that you're going to use. Um, these are all things that you want to have plenty of this because the power can go out at any minute, emergencies happen, roads go out. I have, even in the spring one time, we had a really bad rainstorm and it rained for days and it knocked the bridge out on our road and I couldn't get out and I was home alone with the baby, so um, our first son. So we were stuck there for quite a while, just me and him. And there was no heat electricity, there was no heat, and we had to make do with what we had. So having light, heat, food, those three are your top things you want to definitely All right, have. number four, you want to make sure you have plenty of extra bedding. You want, uh, everybody's got all their own bedding anyway, but you want to make sure you have plenty of extra bedding. For those really cold times, you may want to pile on some extra blankets. You may have a neighbor come and they need blankets or something. They may need to come stay with you because they don't have heat or a family member or something like that. You may have extra people in your home. So um, you want to be prepared for that also. Uh, number five, laundry supplies. Um, not always something you think of off the top of your head for um, emergencies, but having supplies to do laundry by hand is really important because you're going to want to stay clean and so having some laundry soap, um, a powder or a liquid or whatever you want to use, but also having ropes so you can tie ropes up so you can dry your clothes after you wash them. You're going to want to be able to do that. So um, any extended period of time that you, you know, you're going to want to be able to stay clean. Number six. Number six is um, sand and shovels. You definitely want to have plenty of shovels so if there's mass amounts of snow or anything or whatever you need them for and sand because it tends to get so icy in the winter you don't want to slip and fall and get hurt. You want to make sure that you're keeping everything safe and everybody in your home is safe when they go outside. Number seven, food and water for your animals. 
You want to have extra food for your dog, cat, hamster, parrot, whatever you have. Your livestock, chickens, uh, goats, cows. You want to make sure you have plenty of food so you don't have to run out to get it. Um, because you may not be able to get out. So you want to definitely have that on hand. <clears throat> Number eight, uh, battery operated radio. So you can hear what's going on out there or hand crank radio. One of those. Those don't always work the greatest. Sometimes there are issues with those. But, and, but if you have a battery operated radio, I would say that's probably your best bet and plenty of batteries for it on hand. So you've got it, you can know what's going on out there if anything crazy happens. So um, also, number nine, number nine, um, first aid kit. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a well-supplied, stocked up first aid kit. If anything happens, you have got, you'll, you'll need bandages, scissors, tweezers, antibiotic cream, um, some, you know, like pain relievers, your, if you have any medication, if you can get stocked up on any of uh, prescription medication, it's always good to have some extra in the house. Um, especially if it's life-saving, uh, heart medicine, breathing things, things like that that are really life-saving. You want to make sure you have as much on hand as possible of that. I know it's hard to get ahead on it, but sometimes you can get a little bit ahead, which will help and could save your life in, in the case of an emergency. Um, and number 10, activities for the kids. If you have got kids in your home and you are like stuck in the house for three weeks, it's going to get a little stir crazy for the kids. You want to make sure you've got um, board games, uh, uh, different things. If you have any battery packs um, so they could watch a movie, that would be great. If not, um, crossword puzzles, uh, word searches. My kids love to do Mad Libs. They're funny. Uh, it keeps them occupied. If the power goes out, um, crayons, markers. Uh, maybe you have an older kid that likes to knit or something like that, have some extra yarn on hand. Um, anything like that, activities that are going to keep your kids a little bit busy, busy and give them that little bit more normalcy because they're used to having all this electricity and doing all this stuff and, and winter comes and things can happen. So keeping the kids um, busy is really going to help you as well. Um, and number 11, plastic, sheeting, and duct tape. Those two things are really essential. Um, if you have just a small amount of heating fuel and you have a giant house and a little tiny space heater, you're, you can use that sheeting to cover up windows, like this huge window. I'm sure we have some air loss here. Um, because it's so big, um, covering up big windows, doorways, anything like that, and even shrinking down the area that you heat. Um, you may want to have your whole family in one room sleeping at night because that, you know, sleeping bags all over the place. And just to keep the heat and, you know, keep your resources where you can really use them. So these are my 11 things that I think you should stockpile and keep on hand for winter time. They're things that we keep on hand and we're ready. Um, and I think it's a great idea for anybody to have these things just in case, because you can never be too prepared. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.